I'm going to tell you one of the best river flies, well, the best river fly that I think most people will agree with, pheasant tail nymph. Now, I'm using a Daihiku hook, it's an SP, it's a special wet fly hook, if you look you can see, it's almost like a jig hook, it goes down at the front, so it helps the bead sit better. I've got a 2.5mm tungsten copper bead on there, uh, obviously I want to tie them with different sizes, so i will use my 14 mm wisp again. Okay, I'm going to start just here. Now, I'm going to take it to the just where the bend starts. Natural cock pheasant. You know, a, a decent amount. You're looking probably seven or eight fibres there. Now, the way I tie this is I catch it in to three, four. That's me got my tail and my body, so I'll just pull that back. Now I'm going to use copper wire, small, for the rib. I do find that if I'm going to tie a black pheasant tail, I really like it with a red wire rib. But for the natural one I like copper. Now what I'm actually doing is I'm inserting the wire inside the bead, so I'm not getting any jaggy bits. It keeps it out of the way. Okay. So we'll just do that, we'll wind it back, and I'm going to run a couple of runs of thread up and down just so there's some kind of body below the pheasant tail, and then we'll go back again. Then after that what I'm going to do is varnish the thread, just so the pheasant tail's got an extra bit of grip. doesn't really matter to be honest because the amount, once the fish have bashed this it's you know, it'll fall apart and they'll still keep bashing it. Now, I'm just going to wind the cock pheasant centre tail forward. And I'll take it almost to the bead. Just leave a slight gap for the thorax. Four turns, three turns, and trim. Right, now, I don't actually go the opposite way with the wire. I don't think it makes a huge amount of difference, but everybody's different. So I'm just going to wind the wire on. I really do like this fly with uh, Yan Shiman's chocolate dub for a thorax, especially the black one. The black one with the red wire rib tied with Yan Shiman's chocolate dub is a fantastic fly. But this is Martin Drosh's favourite, uh, Martin Drosh's uh, ex world champion with the Czech team, the current team champion. What he uses is the Yan Shiman ice dubbing UV pink number 18 for the thorax. It's kind of strange because it, it changes colour in the water. You don't need a lot of it. So I'm just going to dub it on. Okay. And that's it. Fished under an indicator, fished French style, fished upstream nymph, fished pump. It worked great. And I've found it to be a fantastic pattern, especially for grayling. But as I say, experiment. I've tried hot head beads and stuff. Doesn't seem to work half as well as just copper and black and uh, gold. And that's a great fly. Plain and simple and fast.